All right, everyone, we have Mike Ford here. If you have a question, raise your hand and we will call on you. First, we'll go to Cam. Mike, we always talk about next man up and how important that is for you to actually be able to execute that on the field and, and perform when your number is called. How does that make you feel in that moment in, in a game day? Uh, it's a great feeling, you know, just being able to be out there and have my teammates back. You know, that's that's my role, you know, on this team is to, you know, always be there and be able to have their backs. So it was just great being able to have that opportunity and show those guys that I'm there for. Them. What was going through your mind in that big play in that crucial moment when you were able to to get that pick? Oh, uh, man, it was just winning my head. I was like, man, it's the first one. Like, let's celebrate a little bit. Then I seen Zadarius, and he's like, give me the ball, give me the ball. I'm like, all right, hand on the ball so that I can have that in the office and stuff. And then, you know, just go celebrate with my team, bring a little energy out there for the guys. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Daryl. Yeah, Mike, you guys uh, played from behind the entire afternoon, uh, pretty much spent the, oh, almost all the game down double digit scores what is it about uh this team where you guys don't allow mistakes to snowball and you guys find a way to respond to them in a very positive fashion you know we play a sport where you know it's more than 30 plays you know every on offense they're going to get about 30 40 defense we're going to get about 30 40 so you can't hang your head on one because you got 39 more to go you know so it's really about you know seeing what the mistake was, correcting it on the field, correcting it on the sideline, getting back out there, getting the job done, and just being together. And uh, I saw the video after the game in the locker room with Kevin Stefanski, you know, congratulating you guys, but said, you know, next week's the biggest game of your lives. And then he uh, tried to say he had no idea who you were playing. Um, <laughs> but just, you know, putting this one, having to put such a great win behind you guys so quickly to get ready for yet another a crucial game against the the Steelers that could, you know, weigh heavily on your divisional prospects. Just uh, touch on that and just the, the mentality you guys have to have now. I think we come into that game, you know, with the same mindset that we come into every game. You know, it's a big game because it's the next game. You know, every game is a big game. Every game matters. So, you know, we want we don't want to get too high. We don't want to get too low. We want to stay consistent and, you know, prepare and come to work. All right, next we'll go to Ashley. Hey, Mike, um, just to go back to the interception, you know, the Ravens on that drive get the ball with like just over a minute left. Like as you're going for that play, how much of it is on your mind to, to get a stop here so they don't double dip essentially? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a big thing, you know, anytime that you're out there, we want to we want to at least try and get that ball back to our offense, take the ball away, stop them from getting points. So it's no different than any other drive. It's just more so right now. It means a little bit more because they got the opportunity to double dip. So we just go out there and we're like, as every other drive, let's go make a play. And it just so happened my number was called and I was able to be there for my team. And I know like we got to see your aggressiveness there, but it feels like we've seen your aggression all year on special teams and some of the coverage stops you get and things like that. So um, just your mentality coming here, how this year has gone for you and how you've tried to maybe, you know, up the ante in terms of mentality here for the larger group. Oh, yeah. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm pretty sure me and you spoke at the beginning of this season, you know, about coming to the dog pound and bringing that to him. And I, that's just who I am, you know, so I just wanted to show what I said was who I truly am. So. All right. Next, we'll go to Kelsey. Mike, going back to the interception. Sorry, you, you went out. You're still out, Kels. We'll come back to you. No, I couldn't hear. Yeah, we're going to skip. We'll come back to her, Mike. Um, next, we'll go to Scott. Hey, Mike. Hey, on that hit on Lamar right before the interception on the sideline, were you worried that you might get flagged for that? Um, no, I wasn't worried. You know, I felt as if he was still in bounds. I feel like he didn't get a clear foot out of bounds. He had not let up yet. If uh, when I was looking at it and I was coming down to make the hit, it's kind of as if he had lowered his shoulder on me a little bit. So it was more so like I just felt like we were playing football. And then, you know, coach and you guys talk so much about resilience. Um, like, how do you develop that? You know, I mean, such an intangible. How does a team, I guess, grow that? 
Uh, I mean, it's just something you practice. You put your guys in those situations and you, you know, you kind of let them grow from them, grow from those situations, learn how to deal with those situations. And then over time, that becomes part of your personality. Thanks. All right. And it looks like we have our last one from Jeff. Hey, Mike, can you talk about the camaraderie you guys have on defense? Because, you know, I mean, uh, Miles Garrett gets uh, the big headlines, but every one of you guys seems to step up and make plays. Oh, yeah. I mean, we we bond like this is probably the most team binding wise I've I've been on, like as a team. Like we all just link up really well. We come together really well. And it's just, you know, being there and being able to spend this time together and be together so much, you have you develop emotions for guys you develop feelings for guys and you know you always when you have feelings for your teammates and you care about those guys you don't want to let them down so I feel like that's part of the thing like when a guy makes a play if you care about him you know what I'm saying you're going to celebrate with him so I feel like we all care about each other and it's just the camaraderie is great here I love it thank you all right that wraps us up thanks Mike thank you all right, everybody, we have Jerome Ford here. If you guys could just raise your hands and we will get to your questions. All right, first question, we'll go to Cam. Hey, Jerome, what can you say about the, the tackles who were filling in, doing the next man up thing, were able to help pave the way for you guys to have a strong run game yesterday. They great guys. They great in preparation this week. Um, you know, we all took our hats off for them uh, and what they're able to do in that game played real well for us. And then for you guys to be able to week in and week out, we've asked you about it before, but to week in and week out through injury and, and all of that, be able to maintain that strong run game. One, how do you do it? And two, what does it say about your unit that you can do it each week? Um, pretty much just listening to coaches and getting the reps in practice and making sure it translates into the game. And uh, just say that we we're ready and we, we prepare every week. And, you know, we're a good group. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Mary Kay. Hey, Jerome. Uh, after watching what Deshaun was able to do, and I know you talked a little bit about this after the game yesterday, but after watching what he was able to do coming back in on that injured ankle and, and showing that kind of toughness, what kind of hands do you feel like you guys are in from the quarterback position as you move forward uh, specifically into another big, huge AFC North game against the Steelers? Even before that situation, we feel like we're in good hands with Deshaun great hands and we continue to feel that way so you know he a dog and we behind him is he one of the toughest quarterbacks you've ever been around seen experienced yeah definitely he break tackles from D linemen that sometimes I'm not able to break so I feel like he's pretty tough thank you all right next we go to Daryl yeah, Jerome, take me through that 12-yard run with less than two minutes of play where you had uh, basically the entire team shoving you forward or trying to help you get, you know, grind out those uh, 12 yards. And just how much does that exemplify uh, the the no-quit personality of this team? Um, it was pretty much a run play, power play. And uh, we got up to the second level and kind of got to a stalemate. And all I could think was hold on to the ball and keep my feet turning. And then out of nowhere, I feel a push and I feel a bigger push. And I'm just in a pile, the Ravens in there, we're ripping at the ball. I'm just like, hold on to the ball. And it's like, I'm holding on. And I'm like, is the play gonna be over? Like they still pushing it. And, you know, eventually we went down and you see it on film and it's like, man, that was a real great play. And just uh, that that game in general yesterday, where you guys were climbing an uphill battle from the from the second play uh, of the game, where does that resilient, tough mentality that never say die uh, come from for you guys this year, where you don't allow mistakes to beat you, and you, you guys just seem to find a way week in and week out to give yourselves a chance? Uh, pretty much ever since I got here, Coach been preaching on playing all four quarters and being tough and resilient. And, um, you know, we, we kind of fall in and rally behind that. 
and we, we try to prove them right and show that we're a tough, you know, resilient team. And like he said, if there's down, if there's downs left and there's time left, you still got a chance. All right, next we'll go to Jeff. Hey, Jerome. So um, when you guys are down 14 nothing there with about 11 and a half minutes to play, well, what was going on in that huddle? What were you guys saying to each other? Uh, just don't sweat it. You know, play our game. We got Tom and we got Downs. So let's continue to play and, you know, do our job and everything will fall into place. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Cam. Your teammate, Kareem Hunt, has found the end zone five weeks in a row. Every time that he's in there, what is that reaction like for you? What is your conversation when, when you're celebrating that with him now every week for the last five weeks? Uh, it's exciting. Anytime we're able to put points on the board and, you know, contribute to a win, it's, it's not just a touchdown for Kareem. We we all like, yeah, it's a touchdown for us, the running back room, you know, uh, we we always excited to be able to contribute, and with Kareem scoring those touchdowns, it you know it, just, it makes us all happy. Thanks. All right, next we'll go back to Mary Kay. Jerome, how do you guys um, how do you keep it going? You have to get so up for a game like that against the Ravens, and now you have just as big of a game again on Sunday. How do you keep this momentum going, and and will you guys be able to do that? Uh, just realizing that the most like the most important game of your career is the next game um, and continue with that mindset that, you know, no matter who they put in front of us, you know, we got a game to play and it's the biggest game of our lives and continue to play with that kind of mindset. So it doesn't Steelers week doesn't mean, you know, any more to you guys per se than, you know, 49ers week or, or you know, any other week. Uh. Right now, the Steelers mean the most, the next game. And, you know, we we excited to play them, uh, big rivalry. And, uh, you know, we're looking to, you know, try to play a hard game and get the job done. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Delvis. Jerome, congratulations on a great performance, bro. How does it feel you're coached by Stump Mitchell? Stump Mitchell – was was an excellent running back back in the day with the Cardinals. Does he give you some like some subtleties or some hints on what you can do to become that elite back? Because it seems like the more games you play, the better you you are becoming. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Coach Stump. Great, um, and you know, uh, just having somebody who's been in the same position, you know, been a running back in the NFL, been a running back coach, seeing it from different perspectives. You know, it, it's always good to have him in your corner. You know, he always dropping gems, you know, uh, in the run game, pass protection, uh, routes. Um, you know, he was a dog himself at running back. So, you know, we we look to take any any little thing we can get from coach. He always, you know, giving out gems and we always, you know, soaking out, soaking it all up. All right. And last one from Scott. Hey, Jerome. I know you touched on it, but I wanted to go back to the tackles. The fact that you guys were down both starting tackles, like how did you work through that process during the week? And then how did you think those guys did yesterday? Uh, you know, just throughout the week, understanding as the next man up and, uh, you know, they are teammates and we're going to rally behind them. And I feel like they understood that they had a job to do. And, you know, when it came time to do their job, I feel like they did a great job. They contributed to the win. Um, like I said, just, you know, the preparation throughout the week, I feel like they attacked it and they understood that we were behind them no matter what. And they went and got the job done. Thank you. All right. That wraps us up. Thanks, Jerome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.